The little boy is awoken in the middle of the night by seemingly nothing. He rubs his eyes with his hands like a drunkard experiencing a terrible hangover. Nothing appears to be out of order. All the windows are shut and everything in the room is how he left it. Messy. The child attempts to sit up, but his pain with the awful stomach cramps has endured over the several past days. He decides to instead lie back down on his bed and wait for his parents to wake as he stares at the occasional spiderweb he's too lazy to clean from the ceiling. His stomach pains grow worse even though he was lying completely still. He like a sh dull, sharp pain in his stomach. The boy gropes his stomach with his hands. He becomes nauseous and the pain gets increasingly worse every second. Then, oddly enough, the pain suddenly stops. He feels a belch coming. The boy forces it up, hoping to release it. He is feeling better, but there was no noise, only the strange, unanticipated feeling of furry legs crawling up his throat. He gags, terrified, and running for the bathroom as he feels something with prickly hairs crawling up his throat. He dry heaves over the toilet as the creature in his esophagus reaches his mouth. The boy feels many creatures bite his tongue in the back of his throat. Gagging, he spits it out, immediately disgusted and horrified. Several small, hairy spiders landed in the toilet. The boy died sometime later at the hospital from an unknown venom, most likely from the bite of the, from an arthropod of some kind. An autopsy was performed on the boy and found several so, small spider egg sacs digesting in his stomach. The DNA of the eggs matched no known species of spider, though genetic tests showing it was some form of a spider. The most widely accepted theory was that a spider crawled into his mouth when he was asleep and laid her eggs inside of him.